Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am uh, currently tapering off Free Gabalin or Lyrica as it's also known. I've been, I was on the highest dose, which is 600 milligrams, for about a year and a half, two years, and I am tapering it because it's no longer helping with my anxiety and there's no point being on it if it isn't working and I'm just crossing it over to sertraline so I'm on 50 milligrams of sertraline and now I'm on 400 milligrams of uh, uh, Lyrica pregabalin yeah, I keep getting a bit of brain fog which is my benzodiazepine use so I apologise if I forget, sort of forget what I'm going to say. It's very annoying. I can't do a helper, do anything about it. Yeah, I do get some withdrawal symptoms like a bit restlessness and just don't feel how I should feel like normally. And. Uh, it's very irritating indeed and the only way to do it is by reducing the amount of pre I am tapering or making the time the gaps between uh, me tapering down longer so i'm not tapering like 100 milligrams a week which i have been doing and uh, i think that's a bit too fast to be honest with you because i think it should be about 100 milligrams every two to three weeks maybe even a month because you're getting bad withdrawal symptoms but it isn't very nice granted it isn't as bad as benzodiazepine or opiate withdrawal but it's still it's still and an addictive drug. I think it's pretty addictive. And I've uh, come off of Zofaclone before. And that's quite an eye that's taken some of them. And they're quite, quite an addictive pill as well. And I'm on nitrazepam now for my sleep but I might go get that back to stop a clone because nitrazepam now is not working which is very very annoying and nitrazepam which is mogadon uh, it works at first and then stops working just like the Lyrica pre -gabalin. all of these drugs seem to work at first and then they stop working I mean, surely someone can come up with a drug that you don't build up a tolerance to and uh, you're going to, well, actually works properly and you don't have a reduced amount of effect as the time goes on when you're, that you're taking it for. I mean, it's stupid that no one can come up with something good better than what we have already. We have well, right now I'm not feeling too bad because I've taken my nightly dose of 30 milligrams of diazepam, valium, basically, and uh, 40 milligrams of oxycontin for pain. And that's, that's actually it, but I took some nitrazepam earlier so I sleep in the daytime so I, and stay up all the night. That's how I prefer to live at the moment. And schizophrenia causes a lot of it, I think, like not wanting to be around. Well, a lot of people, I say in my room most of the time, don't really spend time with other people. Yeah. That's it. Don't, don't, don't feel, feel like it. You feel like it's to
Yeah, so I don't really recommend going on free gabbling long term in the first place. But if you do, just to try not to make the dose too high, so it won't take you too long to get off it if you have to. Well, you, you might find it really easy, you might find it really difficult. I, I don't know if one is different, but I'm, I'm not finding it that easy. But it's not it's not really really hard at all but it's just puts you in a bit of a different space of free gabbling does when you first take it and you want to be there again and i, I like gabapentin as well i think that that's quite a good drug but obviously it's a bit of a drug and it can be misused easily i know it can anyway thanks very much for watching this video and please subscribe to see what other videos I upload and scroll through my existing videos if you want to see them. I make random ones about radio control cars and music and things like that. Thanks again for watching and see you again soon. Please like, subscribe and rate. Cheers. Bye.